Hi guys, this is Rasnov and welcome to my humble abode <laughs> and welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi guys! Welcome to my humble abode. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is your Millennial Engineer Rosnoff. And for today's vlog, medyo kakaiba ang gagawin ko. So, anyway, ganun pa rin. Review pa rin and showing you the features of a uh, blood pressure monitor. Ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun. So, kaya siya special. Kaya medyo siya kakaiba. Kasi unlike my uh, other reviews, Ano siya, kitchen appliances, di ba yung mga other reviews ko. This is the very first time na gagawa ako ng review ng isang uh, healthcare related product. So, this is a blood pressure monitor guys. Uh, just a quick disclaimer lang. Uh, I am a, my profession is not related sa isang healthcare or any healthcare uh, related na job. I'm just your typical millennial engineer. And etong Omron kasi, ayan, napaka-compact niya, this one. Napaka-compact and uh, I read the instruction manual. Easy to use siya, nagets ko lahat. So, I think uh, sa mga bibili ng mga uh, blood pressure monitor, enough na yung pinrovide ni uh, Omron, this one. In enough na yung pinrovide niyang instruction manual dito para makapag-operate tayo ng isang blood pressure monitor. So, Excited na ba kayo guys? <laughs> so guys, I'm just gonna unpack what's uh, in the box. So, uh, just a quick tip. If you're looking for a gift sa inyong parents or sa, sa household nyo for this Christmas, para kakaiba naman, why don't you buy or uh, get yourself a blood pressure monitor? Kasi sobrang ano niya, sobrang gamit na gamit siya. And uh, kasi diba ang blood pressure monitor, talagang pang monitor ng blood pressure. Hindi lang kasi isang reading. So kailangan mo everyday ng reading, constantly at the same time. Ayan. So para mas makuha natin yung average, para mas accurate. So if you're a health conscious concerned ka sa health mo, sa na family mo, ng parents mo, I think uh, you, you might want to consider getting this one as a gift for yourself or your or for your parents. So, let's go! So, ito na siya guys. Ito, this is the unit. Ito yung ating uh, adapter. This is the instruction manual and this is the arm cap. So, sa box, tinabi ko lang kasi medyo mo Masikip yung ating table. So, this is the bag niya. So, ito yung box niya. So, sa box, punta muna tayo sa box. So, ayon sa box, blood pressure monitor. The model is HEM7320. So, meron tayong cough wrapping guide. Meron tayong average of last three readings. Systolic, diastolic, color indicator, irregular heartbeat detection. Meron din tayong blood pressure level indicator. Body movement detection, easy wrap, 90 memory with date and time, easy fit cuff, easy adapter, and IntelSense technology. So, okay, let's go. Okay, so dito tayo sa specifications, uh, measurement method, siya ay gumagamit ng oscillometric method. Pressure is uh, from 0 up to 299 mm mercury. Pulse is from 40 to 180 beats per minute. Accuracy is uh, plus or plus and minus 3 millimeter mercury. Pulse accuracy ng pulse reading is uh, plus minus 5 percent. Battery life of new alkaline battery is approximately 1,000 measurements. Power source you can do both. You can do either uh, four AA batteries or adapter unit. 
So, console weight, meron tayong 380 grams ng walang battery and arm cuff fits arm circumference at 17 to 36 centimeter. So, that's it guys. That's it. Let's go na sa ating uh, unit. So, una is... Uh, Guys, pakibasa yung manual if uh, you are, you bought one. Kasi na, nandito na lahat. So guys, sa uh, adapter niya, meron tayong, this is the brand, uh, voltage rating is uh, 200 volts to 240 volts. 50 or 60 hertz, which is compatible siya sa Pilipinas. And made in the Philippines, the adapter is made in the Philippines. But the orientation of the plug is not, uh, not um, standard for a Philippine socket, so you might want to use an adapter for this one. So, sa dulo is this. I think you can, uh, this is a common, uh, common, ano to, common plug sa isang DC adapter. So, for the unit itself, meron tayo dito uh, LCD display, very nice. The systolic millimeter mercury, diastolic millimeter mercury then Meron din tayong pulse per minute. IntelliSense, model number. Dito sa console, meron tayong push button dito which is the start and stop. Meron tayo dito uh, st storation of the memory of the readings. Meron tayong left and right button. Meron din tayong dito clock na logo and the uh, cuff reading. So, the body is made of plastic. Dito naman yung kanyang adapter na 6 volts. Dito naman yung kanyang air plug. Kung saan may sasaksak yung ating arm, arm cuff. So, dito sa likod, meron tayong apat na footings para stable yung kanyang uh, pag nilagay natin sa table. Stable ang kanyang stand. So, next, this one is, I guess, alam nyo na no? This is uh, where you are going to place your battery again. You have to place four AA batteries on this one to operate. So, meron tayo dito nga rating level, pressure mo blood pressure monitor, uh, DC is 6 volts, 4 watts. Meron tayo serial number and uh, where it is uh, manufactured. Guys, uh, since nakasaksak na yung adapter, let's operate na. Saksak lang natin dito sa ating console. And uh, first, let's set the time. So, year na muna since it's uh, 2020. Today is, so, hanggang 12 lang siya. So, I think this is the month. Today is uh, November 30. Ang oras ngayon ay 7.18 p.m. So guys, first set the, set the time first para uh, whenever we we get the result, uh, naka-itemize siya per day. So isaksak na natin tong uh, arm cuff. So this is the arm cuff. And let's uh, use the arm cuff. So sa arm cuff naman guys, may nakasulat din ditong guidelines. So for example, this one is... Uh, this is your left arm. Kita naman na nakaganyan. Then, yung air tube daw dapat nasa, nandito, nasa in between, nasa gitna at the middle of your upper arm. So, sa specs niya naman, latex free, made in Vietnam. So, let's uh, use this. Guys, yung ano niya, yung... Unang roll niya, medyo hardened. And your second is, okay na, leather naman na. So, let's try. Sabi dun sa picture, uh, if you're going to use your left, your left arm, and like this, nasa gitna yung air tube. And, this one. So, guys, uh, relax nyo lang yung ano niya. Relax nyo lang your arms. You, you just need to relax your arms and before you seal the before you seal the arm cuffs the arm cuff should be snugly fitted and your two fingers can must fit inside this. So, this is the right fit. 
and lock it like that. So again, uh, okay na to, nakapag-set up na tayo and then mag start na tayo ng pag read ng ating blood pressure. So, to start reading the blood pressure, you just simply need to push this start and stop control function. Ayan. Nagpa-pump na siya. And, uh, hindi naman siya ganun kaingay. Guys, if you can see, eto na, nag na siya. The green color here indicates that the placing of the arm cuff is okay. So, tapos na siyang mag-inflate. Ayan, bumababa na yung reading. Uh, for, nagde-deflate na siya. So, I guess, we are going to read the histolic and diastolic. So, that's it. So, ang systolic ko is 118, ang diastolic ko is 85, and ang pulse per minute ko is 79. So, again guys, this is a digital automatic blood pressure monitor. So, uh, meron namang guidelines na pinakita sa manual. Tanggalin ko lang guys ha. Merong guidelines na pinakita dito sa manual. Again guys ha, nag-disclaimer just uh, to give you a disclaimer, this is not my profession, but uh, this brand of blood pressure monitor uh, give us the guidelines. So, for the guidelines, let me just show you because I got my reading is uh, 118 over 85. So, if kung ipaplat ko siya dito sa guidelines, meron tayong ang 118 chaka 85. Dito ako mag fall sa. Optimal blood pressure to normal blood pressure. So, that's it. Okay guys, I just show you how straightforward itong paggamit ng ating blood pressure monitor. So, let's go sa mga features niya. So, again, uh, this blood pressure monitor, i-highlight natin lahat ng feature niya kung bakit this is the right monitor for your family. So, Again, this monitor, this blood pressure monitor na kastor siya ng results. So, this one, this is my reading. So, if magkukuha ako ng reading ng since kaka-open ko pala, naka-5 readings na ako, ayan, pwede, ako, pwede kong balikan, pwede ako makapag-store. So, for those of you people or your parents na kailangan nilang i-monitor yung blood pressure mo, blood pressure nila, no need to write down your data. So, ayan lang, one. So, I just have five readings here. So, reading number four, ayan, naka-store din. So, that's it guys. No need mo nang, ano, isulat yung data. So, it can store until 90 readings. So, marami-rami yun guys. Ngayon lang kasi five lang yung naka-store kasi five lang yung na-read. So, marami-rami yung 90, I guess, that feature alone is uh, is okay, is advisable. So, guys, dito yung okay, tsaka yung uh, arm cuff natin, uh, well ready, while well using, magbablink siya ng green, if okay yung, if okay yung pagkakalagay mo, if not, magbablink siya ng orange. If you are going to read again the, another blood pressure, which is ikaw ren, uh, siguro, Ipahinga muna natin ng mga 3 to 5 minutes para yung arteries natin maka-adjust sa normal. So, siguro pakita lang natin yung ano, yung mga kasi kanina before it starts, nag-blink, di ba? Nag-blink lahat nung logo dito sa uh, unit natin, isa-isahin lang natin. So, if pinindot pa natin yung isang uh, one push ng start stop, mag-off na unit, so start lang natin. So, ayun na guys. Ang daming, ang daming lumitaw. Siguro, I guess, I'm just gonna screenshot that. Para isa-isahin natin yung, ano, yung feature. So, guys, dahil hindi siya nakakabit sa, ano ko, sa arm ko, nag-iwan na siya. And, uh, napaka foolproof ng unit na to. Kasi, meron din siyang uh, error codes, which is makikita din natin sa unit. Sa instruction manual. So, this is the E1 error code. Air plug disconnected. Air, cu air cuff not applied correctly or air is leaking from the arm cuff. So, tama siya. Hindi siya nang i-apply. Kaya, nung nag i siya, wala, walang uma wala siyang inaakapan. So, let me just show you kung paano mag-delete ng stored data dito sa ating unit. So, 
for example uh, this is your data you just need to click on your storage and click then yung start stop button yan simultaneously 3 to 5 seconds magdi-delete na lahat nung naka-store na data so again guys uh, hindi tayo makakapili ng data ang i-delete natin lahat ng data ma wash out madidilit so that's it guys okay na tayo dito sa ating uh, blood pressure monitor so that's it guys for our uh, demonstration ng ating uh, blood pressure monitor. So, uh, just a few tips sa ating blood pressure monitor. So, again, this is the arm cuff. Uh, just uh, take care. Take good care of this uh, rubberized air tube. Kasi ito yung buhay po ng ating uh, air, ng ating blood pressure monitor. Dito dadalo yung uh, air na pinapump ng ating console. So, once na may leak to, hindi na natin magagamit itong buong asin na ito. So, we need to purchase this one, so hindi siya napapalitan, buong asi siya na napapalitan. So, take good care of the rubber thingy, this rubber air tube. So, sa adapter naman, wala tayong magiging problema. Ang pinakanakikita ko lang is this one. We need to use the, an adapter na okay sa Philippines. So, kaya yung socket natin, if readily available, na yung two-round pin, that's better. So, uh, just keep the manual. Maraming maraming matututunan dito, maraming uh, guidelines dito, just like the one I showed you, yung data nung reading, kasi again this is a digital, mababasa niya ultimo yung botal diba, hindi siya nag round off, so uh, just refer on this uh, manual dun sa advisable ng range kung alam, para malaman nyo kung pasok ba kayo sa over na or normal pa, or optimum pa rin yung uh, reading ng inyong blood pressure monitor. So, sa cleaning naman, sa cleaning, kasi this is uh, made of plastic, so cloth lang, okay na to, no need na na, no need na ng special or may, with chemical na pang linis, okay na siya. So, my last tip na siguro dito sa ating unit, again guys, hindi ko na pinakita yung paggamit ng unit na naka-battery. But uh, the performance will be the same. The demonstration will be the same. So, uh, suggest ko lang if uh, hindi naman brown out, if you're going to read, to get your blood pressure monitor, gamitin na natin itong adapter. So, guys, again, this is uh, ECDC operated. So, if uh, yung battery kasi natin is low, but maka-affect siya sa reading. Medyo may possibility mag-cause siya ng inaccuracies. So, if hindi naman brown out, no need ng uh, mag-battery kayo, use the unit with the adapter. So, hindi ko na rin pinakita yung paggamit ng may battery. Baka kasi mag-iba lang rin yung data. So, that's it guys. Uh, I hope sana nakatulong yung ating review dito sa ating uh, blood pressure monitor. Again, if you're looking for a great uh, gift for your family, for yourself, or even sa bahay nyo, and uh, wala pa kayong blood pressure monitor, I suggest you get one for yourself, for your family, for your loved ones. So that's it guys for the review or demonstration ng ating uh, isang blood pressure monitor. So again guys, if you have any more question or suggestion or mana, may gusto kayong uh, ipademo, just comment on the comment section. Uh, sasagutin ko yan as much as possible. And also guys, if you have uh, suggestion na may review ko ng isang kitchen appliances, just comment on the comment section. Magahanap tayo ng sponsor for that. And guys, so just before I end this video, I just want to give a shout out to my channel member, uh, Jeremiah Mendoza, Sir Andrew Lacuachero, Awesome Trader, Gisa em Emphasis, and Batla TV. So that's it guys. Again, this is your Millennial Engineer Rostov. See you on my next vlog. Peace out.